So this is kind of a Me Too video. Um, both Michael Cantu and uh, Rodrigo Ruz have um, already blogged about this, but it is so cool that I thought I would uh, make a video. So uh, let's uh, start with a FireMonkey desktop application to which I'll add a button. In fact, I'm going to want two buttons. Now, in the first button, I'm going to write something really, really mundane. Uh, in fact, it's all going to be quite mundane initially. Um, uh, and I'm going to want to say that it is, in fact, So, uh, probably so basic we don't even test that. Um, and this is where things get interesting. Let's go. And I will, in fact, verify that uh, calling uppercase on Hello World gives us the uppercase version of it. And indeed it does. Now, Introduced in Delphi XE3, uh, almost completely unmentioned. I went to the XE3 presentation in Auckland, and um, this this wasn't mentioned at all, which is really surprising. And this looks really weird. Uh, if if you've uh, well, let's, let's run it and confirm that it, it does indeed work, and we get the uppercase version of Hello World. So introduced in XE3 is record helpers uh, for primitive types. So we've got a record helper for string. And in that we have a to upper function which calls the uppercase on self and self being the, the string. And it's got a whole heap of other uh, methods as well. So um, this is exceedingly, exceedingly awesome. I, I'm quite impressed uh, with this introduction. Um, so what you might think, okay, do the .NET kind of thing and we'll say uh, answer to string and it doesn't compile because we don't have a um, record helper for integers. So we can write one and it's fairly straightforward. Um, so we'll call it equals Okay, and we need a function, which is to string, and it clearly returns a string. And we want to return um, integer of self. So now, when we uh, run this. we get 42. Uh, again, although we didn't test that one before. So that is um, pretty cool. Now the reason I, I, I actually explicitly said the uh, type was if I say answer, uh, we s get it not compiling and we see, okay, well, uh, it's a, a short hint, so why don't we just go Make a, a copy of one of those. And we call it shortened helper. Helper for and it doesn't work. And I don't know why. Um, now uh, the way around it is rather than shortened, shortened, we can make this a helper for byte, and that works fine, but I don't know why shortened doesn't work. Uh, I don't get to even 
to see what. So short it, it is a it is a, a, a byte. So so we might want to call this byte helper, so we can reflect that. So um, that's that's pretty cool. The the thing to bear in mind is that you can only have one uh, class helper at a time. So if I go um, um, record helper for string, and I have um, Reverse string. Like this. And reverse string. Um, I'll just add it up to the top here. System dot stray utils. And compile that. We get an error because uh, to upper. Uh, we, we've over overridden our string helper, which is in the system sysutils, sys with our one here, and but we can do reverse. I hope if I've written it correctly. So hello world. Uh, so and strangely, there's no reverse on the uh, uh, the standard string helper, but we can say. Length to string, and it doesn't have, of course it doesn't have to be uh, a string constant. We can use oops, what have I done wrong? Oh, we don't have a string helper anymore. And it's of length five. So, um, but what what I noticed. I don't. I don't think it's possible. There might be some way of doing it. Is that um, if we wanted to do an implicit conversion uh, to type string, it, it, you don't don't seem to do those on uh, on helpers. So um, you've got to do those on actual records or classes, from what I can tell. So we can actually do. In fact, I forget the um, class. No, I can't remember the syntax. Uh, but we can't do an imp implicit conversion so that we can't just do um, show message answer, which would be pretty cool, but probably very dangerous as well. Um, but maybe someone else can blog about that if there is actually a way of doing that. That would be really, really quite cool. Um, so this is the end of this this video. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. I certainly did. Um, so this is my my new thing I've learned today. Um, so uh, this is me signing off. This is Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv.